title of this mini podcast is A Different Approach. Years ago, I had a nagging shoulder pain that I was experiencing for over a year. I'd gone to a medical doctor. I didn't get any relief. A friend recommended I see a chiropractor, so I went. This physician offered a different remedy for my difficulty, which also didn't relieve my pain. I reported back to my friend that neither of these approaches had worked. She quickly reminded me that my lack of a resolution was not evidence of the effectiveness of either approach for an ailing shoulder. It was more about seeking the treatment that would work for me. It's interesting to note that some people can go to the same physician with the same ailment, get the same plan of action, and one's going to get better and the other will not get any relief at all. This is the point where some people may seek out other solutions, ones they may never have considered or dismissed in the past. It got me curious about the things I've dismissed out of hand in the past. There are so many approaches that bring people relief from emotional or physical pain that the bulk of society has neither heard of or choose to dismiss because of their belief system that won't allow them to entertain something new. They choose to remain in pain and keep seeking a solution by staying married to the same methodology that has not worked for them before. The grasshopper chimed in on this topic when he said, Regarding a therapeutic approach, it's far more valuable if it's useful versus whether it's true. The word true brings out our logic machine. The truth that most people argue about is the relative truth. Usefulness is put on the back burner while philosophical concepts are bandied about so we can pummel each other into submission as to our version of the truth. It's my experience that many medical doctors still roll their eyes when they hear about the chiropractor, and many chiropractors still roll their eyes when presented with a medical model. They both roll their eyes at other approaches that won't fit into either one of their belief systems. Then the true argument begins. Here's a fact you can take to the bank. You can't argue with reality. If someone has a documented difficulty with something and uses an approach that is considered wacky by the mainstream and gets relief, there's no argument as to the usefulness of that approach in that situation. To dismiss the person's relief is to dismiss reality. They're feeling better, and we're not able to get that way with the true methods. Here's my personal opinion. We're an over-medicated and over-marketed to society that seeks solutions in the form of a pill. Hey, don't get me wrong. I'd take whatever they were giving out if I were in real pain. It's like my friend Jerry Stocking says, thank goodness medicine is there when you need it, and thank goodness it's not there when you don't need it. This isn't a rant on medicine. It's more about removing the relative truth blinders and entertaining the notion that a different approach to whatever is challenging you may provide the solution. Oh, regarding my shoulder pain, another chiropractor recommended both a medical and chiropractic combination, which fixed my issue in less than two weeks. So here's my universal prescription. Get curious. All the best, John.